Okay everyone, so welcome back to the third video now. Sorry, I know I I promised to do a lot more than I than I have done already, but it's just I had to fix the quality and the zoom so people, you know, could see what I was writing. And I've eventually fixed it now, so hopefully now I'll be able to steam through all the J Labs and we can learn plenty of Java. So anyway, in this one I'm just gonna show you basic input and output in Java. Now Again, as I mentioned before, with the input, I will use an input class for this, as I as I think it's easier, and you can download the input file on my first video. Okay, so go to your Java um, folder, go into Java, reusable files, and we have template and input, like we should do from at least the first or second video. Copy these. Um, right, I won't go into JLabs, I'll just make a separate folder out here. And we'll call this Input Output. Okay? So paste your two files into there. And call your template file Input Output. Okay? Now we'll open JCreator. Okay, so let's fill in all of our information. Your name, the date, which is the 6th of the 11th, 2010. Input, output. The purpose to show basic input and output. Okay, and of course we'll call the class file the same as the rest. Input, output. Okay, let's make a start. So the first thing I'm going to show you is very, very, very basic output. Okay? Most work in Java for bef before you start making any, you know, user interfaces, you'll almost always use the console. Okay? It just it looks like the DOS window. It's a black screen, you'll see it here in a second. But we'll use the console window. Okay? So to print something to the console, the simple command is system dot out dot print ln for line bracket brackets opening a uh, what are they called quotation mark opening quotation mark now this is output okay and don't forget the semicolon. Now again, let's take note of a couple of things in this. First of all, system starts with a capital S. Remember what I said about Java being a case-sensitive language. So system takes a capital S. Dot out, dot print line, brackets enclosing the string, and this string it must have opening and closing quotation marks. Okay? So that's the very basic output. We're going to run that. We're going to compile the file. Okay, and you can see down here, process completed. And now we're just going to execute it. And there you can see, this is output. Okay, so that's the most basic output you can learn in Java. Very, very basic stuff. Okay, now the next thing that I'll show you to do in this is something called string or it, well it, it's called concatenation that's the fancy word for just adding something to the end okay so I'll show you what I mean first of all let's change our string to this is a number okay now I'll, I'll initialize a variable number sorry int number, let's not forget that, is equal to 1. Okay? Now, concatenation simply is plus and then whatever you, if you want to use something that's stored in a variable, you'll use the variable name. So plus and number. Now notice this doesn't need any quotation marks whatsoever. Just a plus and the variable name. So this will output this is a number and the variable. Again, let's compile it. 
process completed and run. This is a number, 1. Okay? And we can change this to anything. We can change it to 100, compile it, and run. This is a number 100. So that will change to any number you have stored in here. Okay? So long as you have the plus and the variable name, whatever you put, whatever you assign to the variable will appear in the text. Okay? So that is the very basic of output. Now, the next thing I'm going to teach you is input. Now, like I said, we're going to use the input class file. So make sure you have input in the same folder as you have your main file. Okay, so let's initialize a new one. Int number 1. Okay. So, now, we have to system dot out dot print line okay so there's the basic template please enter a number okay now to enter the number then you must first start the expression with the variable name number one okay now assignment as I mentioned before I don't know if anyone remembers is one equals so because you're going to assign it to a number so number one is equal to input that's the name of the input class file dot read int okay now this is how you use the input class file input dot read int opening closing bracket and a semicolon now First, again, I'll just point your attention to the case. Small r, capital I. This is known as something called camel case. And you should you should try practice this for your variable names. If there's two words in a variable, you should always do it like two words. Okay? It starts with a small letter, but every new word do a capital W because in variable names you can't have a space okay this will not work so make sure they're always together so two words just like that okay anyway so number one is equal to input dot read int now all this does is it lets you enter a number from the console when you get to it the console will actually pause I'll show you this now in a minute and then System dot out dot print line and the number you entered is plus number one. We're using the concatenation there. Okay? Now, so we're gonna build it first. Okay, it, it put in this as a number from what we used earlier. So now, as we can see here, please enter a number. And now the console has stopped because it is now waiting for you to input something. So even if you press enter, it will just keep going down until you enter a number. So we can enter whatever number we want, say 34. The number you entered is 34. Okay? Now, let me make note that, right, here you are entering the number. You are declaring number one as whatever number you enter in there. So let's say you initialize it as 10. Now, wherever you use number one from now on, it will be the number 10. Unless you manually change it yourself, it will always be 10. Okay, so again, System dot out dot print line number one. This is still going to equals ten. Okay. Again, we'll see with the console. Please enter number ten. Okay. The number you entered is ten, and ten again. Number one stays as what you inputted as earlier. Okay. 
So that's really the gist of basic input and output. Now it's the same for any other variables you use. Okay, so int number double float. Sorry, double decimal float decimal car character. Okay, let's not forget our semicolons. So whenever we're going to put initialize it as something, we have to do it the same. So number is equal to input dot read int brackets and a semicolon. Decimal is equal to input dot read double brackets semicolon. Okay. Sorry, I'll have to change this name to two. So decimal two is equal to input dot read float. And finally character is equal to input dot read car brackets and a semicolon. So just always remember that. It always starts with an input and a dot. Well, input.read, that's the same for all of them. And then it's int with a capital I, double with a capital E, float with a capital F, car with a capital C. So it's pretty much the exact same as the data type, but with a capital letter instead of using a small one. Okay? So that pretty much, that covers basic input and output, I suppose. Again, I don't know how easy to understand it is, but... That's really all you need to know. System dot out dot print line, and this. If you're putting in a string, make sure it's within um, commas or quotation marks. And then concatenation is simply a plus and number. And then if you wanted to even add more text onto it, you can still do it by doing plus and um, open it. And this is more text. Close it. Okay, so you, you can you can see clearly right here. You can you can do this as many times as you want. Through you know in the system dot out dot print line, you can keep on adding to it. But I advise you don't make it too long because it'll run off the console and it just won't look right. Okay, so that's really all you need to know. Then you know, um, concatenation just works with anything. All you have to do is just change the variable name so the number you entered is number one or if you want to use decimal decimal two character but again you couldn't use it up here you couldn't use decimal up here because you've actually initialized it afterwards so make sh like everything runs in a sequence in java so make sure if you wanted to use one of these it has to be after you've used it so down here system dot out dot print line decimal okay so that's pretty much it for basic input and output again if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments you can send me a message you can email me whatever you like but that should cover the basics of input and output and you'll see it more into practice as we get on to the J labs